a movie where the title appears not once, but twice in the same opening sequence. Why? Don't know. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty stars Ben Stiller and is directed by Ben Stiller. In this movie, Ben Stiller plays Walter Mitty. He is an extremely energetic daydreamer. He daydreams big things. I can relate to most of the stuff because I am a big daydreamer too. I, I would zone out and daydream about this, certain things in my life too. And that's what he does in this movie. His life is extremely uninteresting for him. So he just decides to go... Uh, blah, 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 and create his home, his own big imaginary world. Some of it is pretty cool, and some of it is kind of, yeah. And so one, and he works for Life Magazine. One day he finds out that Sean Penn has find sent them some negatives. Negative twenty five is the one that he wants on the cover of the magazine. He can't find it, so he's going to set out on an adventure to go and retrieve that negative from Sean Penn himself. You got this little mini key romance between him and Kristen Wiig which is pretty good. Um, kinda kind of odd at first but it's pretty interesting to see how it develops and stuff like that. And Kristen Wiig can actually sing pretty good. I liked her singing. It was pretty funny. And Adam Scott, if I think I'm saying his name right, he plays I guess you could say his his boss or a second of that company, and he is such a douchebag in this movie. I, I know you're supposed not supposed to like him and stuff like that, but he was extremely, and I mean extremely, annoying. Okay, he was not funny. I never laughed when he was on screen. Every time he came on, I was like, oh my god, Ugh. I, I I wanted to fucking punch him in the face. Okay, that's how bad he got on my fucking nerves. Uh, it, it was just too over the top, too unimaginative. I I didn't like his character at all. Okay, some of the daydream sequences are pretty cool. I like the the main, I guess you could say, superhero like sequence between with a uh, Stretch Armstrong in there. I won't spoil what that's about. You just gotta see what I'm. You, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that scene the most. And then they have another scene from another movie, a big movie that came out a few years ago, back in the back in the times. Very weird to watch that in this type of a movie, but I'll give it to Ben Stiller for doing that and not getting in trouble for it. That was pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> So, um, this movie's been in development hell for the course of 19 years. Since 1994, this movie has been trying to get made, and it finally did. And Ben Stiller has been attached to this movie since 2011. So it's finally great to see almost a 20-year movie paid off in such a stylized, visionary fashion and Ben Stiller is good at the visuals the visuals and the way he shoots this movie is pretty interesting I like it I like how he I like how he directs his movies it's pretty interesting the only film I haven't seen that Ben Stiller directed was Zoolander I, I don't know if that's good if that's bad or what so I'm gonna have to end up checking that out but Tropic Thunder is fucking hilarious Love me some Tropic Thunder. <laughs> oh, shit. But anyway. And there's one one daydream sequel. Well, it's not a daydream. It's actually real. I, I just couldn't buy that. I mean, he's in the middle of the ocean. I'm not going to say what else happens with that, but come on. Really? He didn't die. I mean, damn. But uh, yeah, I like some. Of, I like most of the daydream sequences in here. I like some of the stunts he did with a s skateboard. That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And uh, for that reason alone, I'm going to give Walter Mitty, I'm going to give it a B plus. I still thought it was an enjoyable movie. It is kind of so, so paced a little bit, but in the end, it's still a fun film. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Walter Mitty down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What is your favorite directed stiller movie? And I'll catch y'all later.